Welcome to Science at FMNH, a podcast and video series that explores the behind-the-scenes science, collections, and research at Chicago's Field Museum. For this episode, we are showcasing work from teen filmmakers working in the museum. This summer, youth who participated in the Digital Planet Antarctica program planned, filmed, and edited short videos on Dr. Peter Makovicki's 2010 paleontological expedition. These videos highlight the research, science, and logistics necessary to excavate fossils in this harsh environment. To learn more about the Digital Planet programs, visit the Take the Field page on the Field Museum's website. Hi, my name is Pete McAvicki, and I'm the Associate Curator of Dinosaurs, and also the Chair of the Department of Geology at the Field Museum. Whoa, what is this? Where's my mommy? Where am I? We're on Mount Kirkpatrick. We just finished digging this quarry looking for dinosaurs like you. And the only other dino we found was a Glacialosaurus. Don't worry, though. We'll take good care of you at the Field Museum. The world's changed a lot from what you knew. When you lived, and up to about 150 million years ago, Antarctica was part of Pangaea, a large landmass that consisted of all the continents put together. Back then, the Earth had no polar ice caps, but today that supercontinent is broken up and we have seven separate continents. The Antarctica you knew was a lush, temperate environment. Rivers ran through its fern-filled meadows. That sounds more familiar, but I look so different from you. Yes, but you are special. You're a Cryolophosaurus, meaning frozen crested lizard. Unlike other dinosaurs, you had a crest all of your own running over the eye sockets. You're also important for scientists today, as you're a puzzle piece for the theory of evolution, combining some primitive features with some advanced ones. How old are you? I think I'm 15. Well, that's what we figured from your bones. We guessed you were about 25 feet long and weighed about 12 to 1,500 pounds. At the time, you were probably on top of the food chain in Antarctica, being a huge meat eater. But now, it's time to take you back to Chicago so we can find out just how special you are. In 2010, a team of 10 elite scientists traveled to Mount Kirkpatrick in Antarctica. A week before the end of their expedition, they claimed to have made a huge discovery. They found a new species of dinosaur. Do you think that, that there are dinosaurs in Antarctica? Yeah, that's what I hear. That is a lie! Ma'am, do you believe that dinosaurs existed in Antarctica? No way, that's ridiculous. So, Dr. P, you've claimed to find a dinosaur in Antarctica. Not one, but four. How can you tell? Well, when one of the dinosaurs, the first dinosaur to be found uh, at this site in 1990 was discovered, uh, they basically saw the thigh bone sticking out of the helm. They said, well, it's a dinosaur, because nothing else would be that big. 
Yeah. Mac and Ricky in this. Hard to not. Papa Dog. Double G. This is a message to all the critics. Open your eyes before you start being skeptics. I went to Antarctica to use a jackhammer. That fact would make your argument stammer. Look at all these fossils. I got a stack. I dig through every rock. They start to crack. Send them to the lab for uranium dating. 180 million years should make you stop your hating. 